are you ready to be uh, brainwalked the same way as we did with Bjorn yeah, on the, let's, on let's the last try. recording? Yeah, see how much I remember. But right, you've done this game for the game jam. You started with an empty project, I assume, yes. and then did you know what you were going to do, or did you? No, I, I iterate? had. Uh, I I wanted to make a car game. A car for, game. Yeah, for very long, and I thought this game jam would be a good opportunity to try it out. Uh, so I started making, on the first day, I try, uh, tried to make a car game. But I, when I try to make a car game, I always fail at having good, like, um, a good feel for the car. Mm -hmm. uh, so the one or two first days there, I tried to make a car game, but then I scrapped that. Then I wanted to make, like, a graphical or yeah, story-driven mm -hmm. game instead. Spent maybe one hour on that, and then... Uh, All right threw it away and then made this. And now if you move uh, this stick... Yeah. Yeah? I, li I like the way... <laughs> I like the way, like, how do you make uh, yourself ready? It's so exactly, fun. Exactly, yeah. It's so I fun. I was thinking about having buttons for it, but this... But this is much more fun. Yeah. Uh, and the thing is that everybody in the game actually controls the menu, so it can be a bit confusing if they... Yeah, <laughs> but that's why people like party games, yeah. because they can see... You can confusing yeah. and, and fun. Uh, Start. Let's, I'm just going to explain <laughs> that, because we might die immediately, but we want to try to avoid the, the screens, uh, screen edges. Yeah. Uh, so if you, if you eat these purple stuff, uh, your snake gets longer, but you don't want it to be too long because then your tail might end up outside the uh -huh. screen, right? So if I actually eat you, the rest of your tail will turn into blocks uh, or wall blocks. Now I can't walk through them. So that's why you want to like position yourself in a way that that your friends will try uh, actually eat you. So if I eat you here. That's good for you, but bad for me because my snake will get longer. Wait, I still not getting how. <laughs> why is it bad to eat you? Uh, uh, because to, to to get a longer snake, why is it bad? Uh, because you you won't win having the longest snake. You will win when uh, you are the only one that survives. Aha! Uh -huh. So then you you want other people to eat you. Yeah. So you are short, but uh, also. Yeah, now just try I'm to dying. survive as long as possible. Now I'm gonna die instead, maybe, Why? because I have so stupid long snake. Yeah, so now I play one, I play two win. Wait, what? But like, because what was the winning condition? <laughs> my, like my, th my my tail was outside the the screen, and I died, and you were the only one that survived. So you win. You win. I'm missing this <laughs> the, this moment, like yeah, when somebody dies and yeah, yeah, playing. Yeah. yeah. First of all, I should explain it in some easy, like graphical way or something like that. But also, when someone dies, as you as you said, actually show explain. it. Yeah, explain like what actually what exactly happened. happened. If there are multiple players, like more than two, you actually see uh, a wobbly text that mm -hmm. they died. Blah blah died. Yeah. yeah. Like you're a programmer, so like yeah. how do you start new projects? Like we we've just briefly <laughs> talked yeah. about like three. So each time, <laughs> do you start with a, with a pen and paper or with an empty project and just start typing? Uh, usually, actually, with a pen and paper, just trying to figure okay. out how it would look or right. some but kind of overview. How do how do you fail with a good handling on the car on pen and paper? Ah, uh, but, but then I just okay maybe. M more math things, I guess, uh -huh. I write on the paper. But uh, then I, of course, start trying to program it and um, usually start with some uh, debug, uh, debug graphics, just boxes uh -huh. and... Uh, uh -huh. uh, but, right, what line. about the code? Do, do you have favorite extensions or something? Or like, do you start with a, with a scratch? like empty project and then add, add it up as yeah, you feel it? I, I usually start with an empty project and add stuff to it. Uh, I usually start with my own, uh, the Dirty Larry stuff mm -hmm. for the for the menus. In this case, I actually didn't use it because I wanted to have a unique look to the menu. So let's start with extensions, I guess. So Hyper Trails was yeah, Hyper Trails. Uh, this is the only extension I think I have. Uh, it's, a, it's a dude on the forums 
uh, he made an uh, extension that can uh, it will automatically create like trails mm -hmm. after game objects. All right. We but it was a really cool, cool. Uh, we still can say hi to Artyom. I think that's Artyom who made this. Yeah, it's really, really good, really uh, easy to use as well. Yeah, and uh, uh, currently source code for this is not available, like as of today, as of date of recording. But yeah. on the date when you're watching that, you look below, and there is a link, and uh, link mm. to the source code, and you can explore, and hopefully Artyom's extensions uh, yeah. works well. See my hacky code. <laughs> so right, you have lots of like new code here. So all the like most or all the code for this game mm -hmm. you wrote just for the game jam. How yeah. typical it's that you write everything from the scratch instead of reusing the old bits like Dotulari that you referred to. Yeah, I sh probably should learn to actually reuse game jam code because I end up making similar solutions in my game jam games as well because. Like how how I did my GUI GUI mm -hmm. thing here. Oh, let's do this. Um, all the different like steps in the GUI, like the lobby and actual game and the win screen is a, it's all all in one game uh, GUI. Mm -hmm. And I usually just anchor each of the scenes to a like a root node for that scene, so I could just animate my root here depending on where the screens are, back and forth. But I, this is actually how I used you, you usually make it when I make a game jam, so I maybe should actually reuse my old code. But yeah. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe release it as an extension. Yeah, one maybe. More. One more GUI, the world needs the, more GUIs. The thing is that it's making such a, like a system for the GUI is so easy. Yeah, and then that I it doesn't make sense. Yeah, it, I usually usually just wrap in a couple of minutes. What about the input? I assume the game has very complex input because like there is a joystick, <laughs> then uh, keyboard, and yeah. I assume the input system is quite complex. Let's take a look. So uh, I started making just for the for the keyboard, but then I realized it's more fun to play with a controller. But I still want to have support for both, so I I've added just the left stick input here and a couple of different inputs for like you can have up to four players in uh, or four three players maybe on the keyboard currently, um, and I I've, I've named them like key up P1 and key up uh, mm -hmm. P2. So if we take a look at the actual code that handles this. Um, and control script, is it just for the input or do you have the controller, like the game controller script? Yeah, it's, yeah it will act like a spider in the web and mm -hmm. take in the input, send the input or the input actions to the, like the game yeah. proxy. And the yeah. game proxy needs to sort it out and send it to each of the players. What is game proxy? Is it like the master scene or...? Yeah, so I have th this is my bootstrap collection, uh -huh. like the controller, and this is where the control script lives. Yeah. Then I have a game proxy, which is just a collection proxy yeah. that points to the actual game, <coughs> game collection. And you need it just to be able to scale the game or so I, I didn't yeah I I realized that I wanted to have like a lobby section uh -huh. and then I just uh, it sh it should behave just as the game I can move the yeah. the, uh, the yeah. players and it should work just the same so I ended up making just a copy of my mm -hmm. a game collection okay. that has already the it that was logic. just fast enough yeah and like meh. then I could just load in the the lobby yeah. and that has a certain look or a setup of mm -hmm. the, how the map looks and then the game proxy yeah. has a separate look. Very good, uh, very good, right. So you have the controller, the, mm -hmm. the, the, the brain of the game that catches all the input and yeah. distributes it to the game objects. Yeah, so it will convert a specific input uh, action here, like the key up mm -hmm. action, into a more generic player action and then it will actually send that action to the game and the game knows how to handle uh, a specific right. action. Uh, do you have any code that figures out like because they, they can be fighting between the keyboard and, mm -hmm. and, uh, yeah. and the joysticks yeah. and, 
and the rest like how do you how do you resolve this conflict so I, I have a list of uh, different um, callbacks that will for example this function here will only listen to the player one mm -hmm. keyboard input and these functions here will listen to the game uh, gamepad inputs like gamepad zero gamepad one so one when I um, for every input I loop over them and see does this uh, callback can it handle this mm -hmm. input? Mm -hmm. And in, if that in in that case, where is that code? Where is that code? Let's, let's, let's see <laughs> I don't I, I don't believe you. I I want to see the code. Yeah, let's see or here. maybe them uh, want to see the code. Do you so, see the code? So on input, if we are if we're in the lo uh, menu lobby or in the windscreen, I loop over all the available uh, callbacks. I see. I try to call the the callback for that specific like gamepad zero or keyboard player one see did it return a, a valid action and in that case I will send that input to the menu uh, the, the result here as an uh, action so we shouldn't go line by line otherwise no. people are gonna drop you but, but are gonna the, drop. the thing is that it, it, for example if you're in the lobby I can see I have all the available inputs and I see does this uh, it, it callback return a valid mm -hmm. action for this then I pull that from the from that list and put it yeah. in a specific so these are the inputs that is currently available uh -huh. and currently in the game yes so and then you go like one by one yeah so then I then I, I can create a, a table of all the inputs that is available for this instance of the game all right to win be the last snake alive keep away from the screen I guess they will kill you currently up to four players minimum two players I'm alone Sven I'm all alone <laughs>